Alright, welcome back to another video guys. This is this is a video where we are going to be doing a challenge. Derek Lewis challenge. Um there's a UFC YouTuber named Prioxis. I think he's the one that made this challenge up. Where you have to knock you have to knock your opponent out using Derek Lewis and um you have to finish them by way of switch kick switch kick KO so that's what we're gonna try to be doing in this video mind you this is not live commentary so um I won't be having my my live reactions to my fights like I usually do in this fight we are fighting a Curtis Blades and I think that people are only using Curtis Blades because they saw him fight last night I'm sure not all of these people knew who Curtis Blades was I was rooting for Derek Lewis and he won. I the funny thing is the same way he won is the way how I predicted him to win. He um he hit Curtis Blades with a with a with an uppercut when he was trying to shoot for a takedown. And I told him I told my brother I'm like he's gonna shoot for a takedown and run into an uppercut. And that's exactly what happened. It it was it was it was brutal man. It was brutal. The same the same this the clip that I showed with with Alexander Volkov, how he punched him and he was unconscious, is how he did Curtis Blades. But uh, according to Derek Lewis, it was super necessary. Caught him with an overhand. This fight, you guys are gonna see. You guys are gonna see how this fight is. This guy was, he wasn't that good. I'm just gonna say that he wasn't that good. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention was that this challenge is three fights, three fights, and you have, and that's it. You can't cheat. If you lose, you lose. If you win, you win. But you have to finish them by way of switch kick. It has to be a switch kick. And um, you see, I could have finished him right there, but I chose not to. I even postured back up, could have finished him, because he didn't know how to to really defend the um. The, the punches could have finished him but you know if 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 there's a challenge I'm gonna do it you know what I mean I tried it there this guy was like uppercut when I'm in close jab jab hook that was him jab 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 ah man this fight Rewatching it, it's, it's not really nice to watch. <laughs> All right, I checked the stats, and he clearly won that round because he got a couple knockdowns. Got one clean shot on him. And you can see the, you can see the difference in um, in head health. Like, just look at the head health. I'm doing a challenge, and he's still like, his head health is still relatively the same as mine. So I knew I could have won this fight. I could have finished him, but you guys will see what happens. I get caught rude. I duck duck his thing. In this fight I was um there was something going on. I was trying to I was trying to move my head in this fight and, and I was like freezing up. Like right there I tried to pull back. But like I I tried to slip then pull back, but it didn't let me pull back. I don't know why. Maybe it's because my stamina is low, but I'm not sure. I'm just waiting for him to throw something big because I know when you when you face players like this that they're very he's probably new to the game 
it's like they throw they throw kicks at step kick range way out of range when you're not even close to them I was just waiting for him to do that so I could throw my overhand and I get caught again he just ke he keeps catching me now my head hope is starting to get low I was trying to wrestle him to get his head out a little low like I did in the first round I was trying to attack his body because I saw that like I can't I can't really um I can't really outbox him at this point with, with a low head health advantage like this. So I tried to attack his body. My stamina is even low, so I was just waiting on a on a one perfect shot. He's doing bare elbows. And I get caught. I get slept. But you know it is what it is. On to the next fight. Alright guys, we're back again with Derek Lewis. We're facing Francis and Ganu. Alright. In this fight, this fight, and um, in the earlier stages of this fight, I was just trying to figure him out. You know, figure out what his pattern patterns are. And I knew he, he's like, he's just standing there. So I'm like, all right, all right. He throws the high kick. Throws the next one. So I'm like, all right, he likes to kick. So I'm going to use that against him. He takes me down and I think he gets this. Yeah, he does. He gets this one. But I know that he wasn't a wrestler. So I just went for the power transition. I just, you could you kind of just tell with some people. You could kind of just tell. He's a level 24. He wasn't. He probably is relatively new to this game. And he wasn't blocking these. I just could tell that he wasn't comfortable on the ground. I'm just trying to get his head off low if I could hit him with that nice shot. Deny it. Wait for my, my stamina. I'm going to wait for my stamina to, to get up so that I can land more strikes as opposed to. If I if I just postured up with my sound already low. Here I'm just trying to I'm just trying to um get his head off low. That's all I'm trying to do. And then I think um oh he postures I flip him. I think I posture up here and then beat his head into the ground. Oh no I didn't. He goes for the more I deny that. I'm surprised I didn't deny that. Okay, he goes for that. I deny this. I think I go. Yeah, I go side. All right, and I keep keep elbowing him. Elbow, elbow. And I hit him. No, I don't hit him. I think I'm gonna hit him here. Oh no, he gets up. I try to land two hooks, doesn't work. And I get caught. Forgot I was fighting Francis and Ganu for a second. And he could just hit me one time and I'll get I'll get hurt. I'm trying to taunt him. And he's taunting me back. I'm just trying to get him to to you know slug it out with me. Throw an overhand and I knock him. Not what I wanted, but a win is a win. You know it's alright. Get on to the next, the next um clip. Okay, we're back. I rematched. Um, was this the same guy? Yeah, it was the same guy. This time he uses Curtis Blades, and I already know he's not a wrestler. So, 
it's not gonna look look that good for him. Just standing around. If you if you watch the fight, um, if you watch the fight, there was a lot of standing around in the first round. Even even a little bit in the second, they got a little bit more active, a little bit more busy. But there was there was a lot of standing around because Curtis knows all it takes is one clean punch for Derek Lewis, and Derek Lewis knows that all it takes is for him to shoot a takedown on him, for him to land that one punch. And that's what happened in the fight. And I think me and this guy know too what's gonna happen because we already fought before. So I take him down since I know he's not a strong wrestler. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna try to get his head off low so then I can um, just knock him out easier. He flips me around and gets up because he doesn't want any part of the ground. I don't know why he had, why he had chosen Curtis Blades. But it is what it is. Give him a one two. Another front kick. He, hits, he, he catches me clean with that. I think he might throw it again and I'm gonna catch him. I feel like he's gonna do it. Yeah, he did it. I go for the switch kick, it didn't work. But this is it wasn't time for that. Not yet. Derek Lewis's hook. His rear hook. I don't know how many stars it is in the game, but that thing was damaged. You saw how I finished the, the Francis before this fight. That thing was damaged, man. Gets, he catches me. I don't know how he. I don't know how he's catching me like this. Curtis Blades does not punch very quick. Not at all. And here I'm just trying to get his head off low. I nearly finished him. I thought I was gonna finish him because I threw an extra punch, but I guess that extra punch didn't really do. Um what I didn't want it to do which was knock him out here I, I have his back I flatten him out I'm just trying to trying to keep punching him his head health is, is getting low real real low there I didn't I didn't realize that he was um that he was going to put a posture up so I just kept punching and then that's the end of the round Caught him clean with that overhand. And then he catches me clean with the one two. Or more like a one two three. Alright. In this round, I think yes, this is the round where I get where I get him. This is the round where I get him. Catches me again with it. That high kick is gonna be his downfall for real. He goes for a takedown. I was I was facing a little bit of lag in this fight. I don't know if you guys saw it, but the screen is the screen just froze up a little bit. He goes for it again, hit him with an overhand. And this, this is where I started putting it on him. Derek Lewis is a guy that he's, he starts, fights off pretty slow and then, bang, he starts getting on, getting on them. He catches me, I'm using head movement. My head movement has gotten so much better. I remember when I couldn't move my head to save my life. But yeah, I think he's. I think here is where um, not here, but a little bit later in the fight, he's gonna throw a kick in um punching range. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop him. And I started attacking the body because I realized that his head off is already low, 
So I'm gonna tap the body, get his stamina a little bit down. And with these heavy weights, they they're you have to be really efficient with your stamina. If you really, really want to be efficient with stamina, you have to play it patient. You have to be you have to be patient. You have to play it a little bit so You can't just rush it. And I finish him with that with that switch kick. That was super clean. That will be it guys. If you like the video drop a like, subscribe and comment down below. If you if you thought this challenge video was fun, make sure to tell me in the comments. I'm thinking to drop more videos like this very soon. Peace!